Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I am going to show you something very interesting which has been added to the Intel Developer Cloud. You need to visit the console.cloud.intel.com and after registration, you will get in into this page where you can see that we have got training and workshop materials added and I walked you through this in the previous session. There is something more added to it now and this is very interesting and exciting. Gen AI content is there which is very interesting and easy to try and you can learn Gen AI so easily. So the text to image conversion with stable diffusion, image to image generation with stable diffusion, simple LLM inference, all these are added and this is very easy to use. You need to just click the launch button and it will take you through the Jupyter Hub and you can see that the training is getting launched and this will get you right away into the samples that we have provided in the Intel Developer Cloud Console and that will make you understand how exactly you can use stable diffusion to get text to image conversion, the text plus image to another image conversion and simple LLM inference, all these are available. Now this is how you would have it when you get it launched. You have a directory called GenEA. Inside that you have got these files available for you which you can run and understand how things work. So I'm going to take text to image which is available here and the code, the explanation, everything is very clearly given here and we are using the kernel PyTorch GPU. So remember this, this is the only thing that you need to remember. Rest all things are available there. You can go through it at your leisure and the code is explained very nicely that anybody can understand. This uses stable diffusion. And what are we going to give? We are going to give text input and it will be generating images for us. The prompt is text. Let's run this code and see if things work fine. The detailed explanation is available there, so I'm not going through that. You can read it at your comfort and this is going to be real fun for you. So that's all. I have compiled the code and I need to wait for a couple of minutes so that it gets the code run and we will be able to feed in our prompts in the section that is meant for it. So it's going to be very easy. Let's wait for a few seconds and we will be able to feed in our prompts. You can see that this is running fine. The code has run and we are now asked to feed the prompt. So I'm going to feed a prompt Sachin Tendulkar with World Cup. That's all. I want to generate three images, click generate images. Now with stable diffusion through the Intel developer cloud, you are able to generate images and this is the best thing that you can do. Easy and you can learn the entire process so easily and you can see that it is getting the images generated for you and all happens real time. The comment lines, the way the code has been written, everything is very nice and you will definitely love it. So I have requested for three images and I'm sure it is getting generated. Let's wait and watch what kind of images we get. It is generating images and these are all previously generated. Sachin Tendulkar with World Cup, Sachin Tendulkar with World Cup, Sachin Tendulkar with World Cup. So it's generated and I hope you like it. So we have another option here where you can have an image plus text together which can be used to generate the uh, images. So I have another code here which is also available in the samples. I am running it here. By default, we have given a link where there is an image available and once this is run, I will show you the image plus textual input, whatever you are going to give will be helping you to generate the images and this is also very easy to understand. The entire code is given for your easier understanding. You can see that you can see that the link is available here where our image is stored already, image is uploaded already. This is the image that we are going to use along with that we can feed in input. So Sachin Tendulkar with a cricket ball. Now both these will be used. I'm going to generate an image which is going to be taking this image plus this textual input into consideration and we will be able to generate results. So the result will be generated immediately and you will be able to see that right now. Just wait for a few seconds. You'll be able to get the results. You can see that the images are getting generated. This is very interesting and very easy to understand. So the Gen AI is getting much easier for you right now. So through this Intel Developer Cloud approach that you are going to follow, it's going to be really easy for you. So Sachin Tendulkar with the cricket ball is what we have asked for. And yes, this is the one that is generated. We've got another Sachin Tendulkar here. So it has used the image that we have fed in as input and the prompt together and it has generated. So try this out and in case you have any questions, let me know. I'll be very glad to answer. 
You can get all the access very easily through the Intel Developer Cloud. I have already given you the complete details about how do you get the cloud account registered and I'll also give that link in this description so that you can follow and you can get this done. Thank you.